Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Today we celebrate the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant and homeless this morning is our pastor, Father Jim Bivakwa. We ask that you take a few moments to greet those around you. Our entrance hymn is found in your breaking bread. Would you please turn to number 207. Join us in singing, Holy, 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 number 207. And as a family in Christ, please rise as we begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. and the Lord be with you. Today in the Gospel reading, we hear the uh, very familiar story of Jesus calming the storm. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that, about the storms in our lives, and how best to deal with them. And my brothers and sisters, as people of prayer, people of faith, people of hope, let us acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the sea and said, Who shut within the door of the sea when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and the thick darkness its swirling band? When I set limits for it and fastened the bar of its door and said, Thus far you shall come no farther, and here you shoot, your proud waves will be stilled. Word of the Lord. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. 
He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. has risen in our midst. God has visited his people. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up rebuked the wind and said to the sea, quiet, be still. The wind ceased and there was great calm. Then he asked them, why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The gospel of the Lord. I was looking at a message from, uh, from Pope Francis from three years ago um, about today's gospel, and I thought that there were some good things to share with you, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, he writes about how the Lord wants us to seek his presence in the trials and storms of life. And this is part of being a friend of Jesus. This is a part of being in relationship with him, to seek his presence in the trials and storms of life. Um, I'm in the middle of a book uh, called A Grand Slam for God by Father Burke Masters. A Grand Slam for God. And this priest went from being a baseball star to a Catholic priest. Great book, I'm enjoying it. And in the book he mentions when his mother passed away and the pain of losing his mother. So he prayed in despair I think it was the day after she died. God, I just want to know that she is okay. I just want to know that she's okay. And he says that at that moment, a cardinal landed in the willow tree right in front of him and began to sing. Well, his mom was a huge St. Louis Cardinals fan. Um, she had decorated the house with little cardinal figures all over the house, and he heard that, that bird sing brilliantly. So he felt that the Lord uh, was started to calm the chaotic storm of losing his mother the night before, and he felt God saying, it's okay, she's with me. And despite the pain of losing his mother, God was breaking through to comfort him through his beautiful cardinal. God is with us in the storms of our lives. And some people think that, uh, you know, maybe because I'm a priest that I don't have any problems. Trust me, I have plenty, okay? I assure you, I have struggles just like everybody else. Challenges, problems, 
uh, heartbreaks, I worry a little bit about some things, little and big, uh, you know, like uh, how the heck is the new coach of the Lakers going to work out? Uh, <laughs> All those important things, you know. How am I ever going to raise all the money for the new gym? Uh, that's, uh, you know, it's going up pretty fast. So I'm pretty excited about that whole new hall project. Um, but the Pope, Pope Francis, asks, um, how often do we remain fixated on the problems rather than going to the Lord and casting our concerns upon Him? You know, things like, you know, worrying about our children's grades or concerns that our children are making poor choices. Uh, some of us have a fear of abandonment or we fear that we are going to lose somebody that we love. And in today's gospel, we have the disciples caught in a storm as Jesus slept on their boat. Now, the disciples were terrified. Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Pope Francis said that quite often, we too, beaten by the trials of life, have cried out to the Lord, why do you remain silent and do nothing for me? I do that, admittedly. It's part of being in a friendship with Jesus. You know, I, I yell at him sometimes. I'm like, you know, what the heck, you know, I, are you there really? Uh, and as Pope Francis says, we feel that we're sinking, we feel that we're sinking because of love or because the project in which we had laid great hopes disappears or when we are at the mercy of the unrelenting waves of anxiety or when we feel that we are drowning in problems or lost in the middle of the sea of life with no course and no harbor. As Pope Francis relates, we have to remember that even though Jesus was sleeping on the boat during the storm with his disciples, the Lord was there. The Lord was there. He was there. He expects us to engage him, to invoke him, to put him at the center of what we are experiencing. So his being asleep causes us to wake up because to be disciples of Jesus, it is not enough to believe God is there, that he exists, but we have to put ourselves out there with him. We have to also raise our voice with him to cry out to him. So what are the winds that beat against our lives? What are the waves that prevent our navigation and endanger our spiritual life? our family life, our mental health as well. What we need to do is to tell all this to Jesus, Pope Francis says. Tell all this to Jesus, tell him everything. He wants us. He wants us to grab a hold of him to find shelter from the unexpected waves of life. You know, alone, we are not able to float. We need Jesus like sailors need the stars to find their course. Faith begins from believing that we are not enough for ourselves, from feeling in need of God. Please stand for a profession of faith. You can find it in the inside of the front cover of the breaking bread. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, to God from to God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one, holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting that God provides for what we truly need, we offer him our prayers. For the church and her work to bring healing to those in need, may God strengthen her position and her mission. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those without faith in Jesus, may our Savior's eternal love draw them to himself with grace to overcome doubt. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from depression or anxiety, may God bring them comfort and respite. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Bonnie, Walk, Bonnie Vickers, Rick and Tina Caruso and family, Will and Olivia Park, Judy Galagos, Eli Michael and Theo Joseph Wu, Aram and Alex, Alice Michigan, Sam Sherman, Violet Knight, Kevin Gonzalez, Don Augie Wan, Father Stevens Arabidas. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of this worship community, may God strengthen our faith as we face trials and hardships. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially Skylar Batchelor, Dominic Sardo, Susan Kelly, Feliciano Larzo, Og Papayan, Rosalino Lazaro, Bruce Frost, may God's perpetual light shine upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the parishioners of St. Pete's Parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray in a special way for all of those suffering due to the conflicts, due to the conflicts in the Holy Land and Ukraine and other locations in the world. We pray to the Lord. Gracious Father, we come to you with confidence that you alone can answer our needs. We ask that you hear our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the preparation of the gifts.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father almighty and eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Remember the family of Aaron and Michelle Van Dyke. Remember the family of Robert and Susie DeVell and bring the church to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember Ted Walters, Jim Bender, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Blessed Bede the Venerable and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of that peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Join us in singing number 439, Be Not Afraid, number 439.
If you could take out the Eucharistic Revival Prayer, we'll pray that prayer together. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who promised to stay with us always until the end of the age. We awaken our wonder at his presence in the most holy Eucharist. May our hearts burn within us as he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Give us the eyes of faith to recognize his presence in our brothers and sisters, especially in the face of the poor and the suffering. Nourished by the Eucharist, send us forth to walk faithfully as missionary disciples, proclaiming the gospel to every heart and extending your kingdom to every land. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a few announcements. Uh, we have uh, a few openings available for Vacation Bible Camp. Uh, contact information uh, is, is available for Sister Anuncia. Also, she needs help with the setup this Saturday from 9 to 2. So contact her if you can help her out with the setup for Vacation Bible Camp. Um, confirmation and faith formation uh, registration continues on our website. Um, and we still need more catechists for the faith formation program. That's for the elementary school kids. Uh, the Relics of St. Jude are coming this Thursday uh, from 2 in the afternoon, Mass at 7, and then a conclusion at 10 p.m. So that's this Thursday here at St. Bede. The Rosary for Dominic Sardo is tomorrow night at 5 at Cabot and Sons Mortuary. The funeral is at St. Andrews on Tuesday at 10 a.m. That's Dominic Sardo. This Friday, we have a funeral for Jim Bender, James Bender, at 10 a.m. here at St. Bede. And at 1 o'clock, we have a service for Henry Suarez here at St. Bede. And then Saturday, we have a funeral for Lynn Ryan at 10 a.m. So that's what's going on in terms of funerals coming up. Coffee and donuts are being hosted by our Respect Life Ministry. And there's also information regarding the Pregnancy Help Center that is available as well. Uh, special thanks to our altar servers, our uh, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, our lectors, ushers, sacristan, and our choir. How about a big round of applause for all of them? Uh, thank you for your support. Thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, all you do for St. Bede. Uh, your blessing to me, and I appreciate you. Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Join us in singing number 430, I Sing the Mighty Power of God, number 430.